prediction. Yes, do it. For Vega is that they just have too many things that needs lockdown. Okay. And I don't feel like there is enough lockdown. With that said though, if Sing Sing gets good chains off, and if they be a little bit more careful about going for the ring now that there was Vegas in the neighborhood. Yeah, they just go for top. Yeah. They don't want to fight this in Yapso. He's going to get many guns back, and well, the slow's there from Hasha. They'll get a jag dagger into him as well, and uh, he's going to be your first blood there. Oh, that's real bad. Going for to the mid laner. Yeah. He's going to get first blood and rune. And he's denying non-stop. You just tower dive them. Like, how are they going to stop it? go. Ah, uh, Pashas is moving in onto Demon. He's, they've got a glimpse as well from Seema. The snowball will come out straight away. But the Fury Swipes are starting to build up. Glimpse is there in four seconds. He's even so trying to hide in the trees. All right, oh, that path. Oh, these dudes. No, he, he can't live. There's no way. Oh, I mean, valiant effort. That's still probably yeah, dead. Ten out of ten for effort there from Demon. Yeah. Yeah, but he's... No. He's gonna get down. He knows those woods very well with Orb of Venom. If they want to just go for like really fast movement speed and just one hit usually equals a kill. Uh, so they need to do this. They need to kill Sing Sing before he's hit level six, and they might not even do it here. He's got the flame guard up, trying to ward this one off. Okay, nice. get the kill then. That's a big one. Shutting down Sing before he hits six. He was having pretty much wanting to jump on him, but. Got it. Not yet to put too much pressure on the mid lane, Vega. This might change now, though, as we are seeing a movement from them across the jungle and straight in onto Way 2. Yeah. Way 2 is uh, no one has to do anything about that. That's always a good killer. And uh, they do, of course, have this Sonic Wave from no one. So they may very well stick around for this. So let's see them hang around on the sidelines. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. And they've got to be careful here. MFF. And then realize that Vega's ready to pounce. There's a glimpse into a rise. The kinetic field won't trap her. It's a little bit unsuccessful there to catch, and nonetheless, if they did even find it, they might have thought twice about jumping in. Talking about jumping in, Asha, just a few hundred away from the blink. And now this is the go time. They've got a sonic wave here, bursting down a rise. No one getting low. He doesn't care. Just continuing with the push forward. The wheel's been dropped down. He will have to back himself away, and the tower is really killing him. But he's got a shot of grave. He's going to be fine. People are now turning up. It's because he'd be some massive cleanup kills here for Sing Sing. He's found the quad. Can you find anything more here? There are three heroes and passion moving in as well. Sing Sing. Potentially in a lot of trouble here. He's going to spat. The slow won't get him there with the clap. But now Demon's turned up. Matt gets the ult off. And he's going to see what he can catch out here. Demon's going to try and run with a thunder strike on him. The stun there. From the Earth element of the Brewmaster split, the demon's gonna go down. Pash is still somehow surviving. We're saving the Aegis here. And the fight may just continue because the Rise has come back into the TP. He's looking for the races. The Fade Pulse gonna be the thing to drop Pash here. And now Bubenar remnanting back in. He's gonna look to hold his uh, aggression here for Pasha. And that's a big kill. Another kill here for Sing Sing. Getting the kill onto Ursa. And this is the kind of a glimpse there, which allowed him to also get back into position to kill Ursa after the Aegis had already faded. So, a lot of things could have went better. And now with the blink, Sing Sing's not done either. He's ready to go. He's got the Invis go straight in here now. The start. Oh! Oh! oh, double kill for Wise. Oh. They might just find Mag here as well. Mag will just get himself out, but now Solo has been soloed off from the rest of the group. That was nice. And I think I might just find this as well. There are no, there's no positive slide fist here on Sing Sing. So we have the full that catch, that but true. yeah, they're just running down. Solo's gonna get taken down here as well. He will grave himself up. But it, oh, look at Demon. <laughs> he has timed it even after all those candles. Come on, Jimmy. Come on, Jimmy. Warrior. The team fight potential coming out from Vega. They just got a little bit caught off guard there. So while MFF and nice. got themselves in, they want more. Need to use the OA. Oh, hey, Bobby, you're gonna get a chance to do so. They're gonna get it off. No, yes. He can! Gets it off just in time, we'll try and turn and fight here. Has the back of the solo moving in on the dazzle. Seems so to get chipped up into the air. Pasha coming in. We'd love to find Demon here, or at least they pick up in there. We go Pasha straight in onto the turf. We're going to search one kill. Through the knife. Hanging about. Chopped up in the air again by Magnax. Incredibly low here. Needs to get himself out. Still no points in the slight of fist here for Boobin Knight. So we're going to chase that. Way 2 is leaving him. They do have a chain frost here. They can find a nice searing chain. Searing chain is a chain frost. Would we'll take the biscuit. So it gets brought back in. Just get off the shoulder bed in time. The swing wave comes out. And now Pasha moving on to be the night. The static storm as well. The bounce from the chain frost there between Pasha and Siva. The ult comes out for Arise. He just gets disrupted. But they do lose Sing Sing in this fight. Can he find anything more? Arise? He's looking for Mag. Can't quite get it. Now no one's turned up. Arise pops the chances. He can keep his own life. No. Not long enough to find another kill. It's a double kill from the one. Now he's not. But there we go. 
Jimmy Jones! Jimmy Jones man with a punch up and now moving in. Yes, the kill on to Bashi Bashi. Yapsaw waits to slow it down. The stolen Sonic wave on to fire. Gets the kill on to Bruce. No one blinks forward. Does find the kill. Picks himself up a triple kill. You've got Demon chasing down Solo. He's got the shards. He's also got a snowball here in four seconds. And Solo. I don't think he gets out of this one. They've got the snowball, they've got the punch, and here's Jimmy. Stepping it up for the guys. Well, look how he gets it though, Sonic gets up to the high ground. He just turns around and punches no one in the face. He'll take the club instead any day. Solo's still hanging around for this. But I don't know if Jimmy's done. He's got a shot. Okay, he's got to be careful because Seymour's there. But Waits is also about as well, and he'll turn around with the reckless one to Solo. Solo now trapped him, has to grave himself there. He can't get out. Saint Song, Dilly Ding Dong's coming for the kill. Gets the kill onto Solo. Learn from and, I mean, these are the kind of messy fights we expect from Lincoln. Not like, I don't know, a million frost mm, blasts Pasha. that fight, roughly. Oh, they know he's there too. Pasha! Alrighty, let's see how this one goes down. Maybe not too ideal with the Ursa. Oh, pop the ult here, trying to turn around, trying to eat onto Yapzor. He's got the back of his solo. Mag's turning up as well. This have the ult back available, but Duna's there. Always going to be Now the events of Snowball, it's a Pashu Bashu. For Solo? Oh, what? Solo? Did he have the shadow go? I believe he did. I don't know. He didn't. He didn't. He didn't. Okay, okay, he didn't. Calm your horses. Well, that's a big kill nonetheless. They lose the Rubik, but they find the kill onto Ursa. They make you freedom They're gonna defend their tier 1 for sure. They wanna go. Like, Pasha's up. He's got his ulti. He's got his mask of madness. Oh. Who's gonna make the initial jump? Shards come out. Now the moment of forward. Migos and Mag. Can they stop him again? Nice, yeah, the static's on the kinetic field. And the story went on to the rise. The Ross, the Rubik. They're gonna lose the shadow field here as well. Almost certainly. And Monkey Freedom Fighters is just left to try and get themselves the hell out of there. Demon in the tree line. Contemplating like, oh, does he get out of this? No. Oh, Glimmer Cape boys, oh no, Demon. Actually, Jimmy? No, he doesn't get out. He does not get out. Right, no way. He certainly doesn't. Uh. All right, so that just showcased right there the difference between Seema landing his ult and I'll be very happy with that. And off the back of the fight, taking the tower as well. But oh, this TP's coming in. Monkey Freedom Fighters aren't too happy about this. Suing changed on to two if he's sing sing, and they'll go in for the mag kill. Can they find it over the races? No, mag gets on the primal split just in time, and they might turn and fight. But there is and way too here as well. They've got a chain frost. If Monkey Freedom Fighters want to go and Pasha, straight on to wait to. He's got to go somewhere with the mech, keeping him alive. First off, the chain frost as well, but Pasha, he's getting a lot of that damage there with the ult. May still go down with the snow with a punch up from Jimmy. Allowing Sing Sing to pick that one up. The question is, can they go for anything more here? They're now and uh, may have been uh, required there up on the top lane because they lose the Ursa. And it looks like they'll actually be the ones to lose the uh, tier 1 first in the top lane. So, though. Right? Damn it, Demon. Oh, he wants to find Mag. There's going to be the shots coming out as well. Now he's absolutely moving in. He's looking to try and control Mag, but the static storm's there. Even though he's full, but he's running to himself straight into the old disruptor. Solo getting low, trying to turn it around with the hero bomb. The Monkey Freedom Fighters is just ready to chase down the Dazzle here. Solo's caught out. Fade Bolt to the backside brings down the Dazzle. And what a chaos in this game so far. 17 minutes in, 14 for 15. Dyer's, Dyer's <laughs> okay. What the hell, middle lady absolute? Oh my Alrighty. god. Scene right. of the Slayer. That was like become scene of the slain. We didn't see it on camera, but basically what happened is Yapsor got glimpsed. There we go. There we go, we've seen this. No, 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 no. He needs to be right on him. Come on, right. Oh, there he is. Oh, hello. He missed! Oh my. Dan's game. Yeah, it's alright, he's still there. It's alright, Jimmy's there to help. Well, that guys? I guess that. Yeah. He's gonna die. Okay, it's okay. gonna take longer. A little bit messier than it needed to be. But a kill on the list there for Freedom Fighters. Oh, that's free Roshan there for Pasha. Right. So a support for a Rosh, I'd actually be okay with that. Mac wants to go here, there'll be the Grimms back on to Sing Sing. Oh, he did it too early. Oh, God, he did it too early. That was the Sally Storm down on the last, so probably was, he was going to be dead. Like Yap Zoris as well. Two that's a really nice. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Some very nice pickups as well. They're just waiting for the perfect opportunity to jump here Freedom Fighters. The weave is down, no one now TP's out. Dean's gonna go in the cape and try and get himself involved here, see if he can set something up here. Dean's 
Some of the snow goes through, but Max straight away blinking out, moving onto those who just the promise will up on the sidelines. The shells come out sooner, but it's a lovely static shot. Onto three heroes as well, nonetheless. Seems he's going to get Grimms back here. He's going to slide a fist up, but it doesn't matter. The chain force finally coming through, but we have to blast down the disruptor. Zero is now on the retreat. Demon and Yaps are chasing him down. The blast were not able to do too much. No one trying to find out gets the silence on him before he gets the wreck room out. They'll get the kill onto Solo here on the sidelines. Arise has to see himself back to base. Demon now trying to escape here from the blue lens and all. Oh, they've lost one. They've lost Yaps, so they're going to lose Demon as well. And a nice clean up there from Mag at the end with the very final few seconds there of his ultimate thing. Alright. In a irrecoverable position at the moment in terms of the gameplay, but they are going to have to get back and defend him and keep him fighting this because they, they're going up to the high ground, oh, Pasha Blink straight in, the snow was going to be there from Jimmy and the Wars Punch as well. Yes, they're going to cape off. Sigil down. Let's see what Freedom Fires can do on the defense here. Town now on half health, a fade ball coming up in Yapso, now with the Shards forward, trapping a few of them. Well, he's trying to move in with the raises, just get one down, but Vega's still in pretty good positions thanks to the sustainability offered by Aegis is down. Dazzle. Now moving forward here, what can you find? Soon change onto two. The static strike gets dropped, a little bit of rift here, but they're just going to work it out. The side wave is well for no one, only catching two. So Monkey Freedom Fighters are still in a very good position to try and fight here. Soon just moving in with the slides, and Vega slowly backing themselves away. They get the lead down, and now Matt comes in with the Prana Spook. Gets it off as well. The Kinetic Field trapping up Demon. Does get off the Snowball, rise past the BKB, but still has to be very careful with his positioning. Demon goes to the old uh, Duke straight through the fight, and the Gloomy Cape as he walks around to the back sides of it all. He's going for the TP out, yeah. it's not going to work out, no one finds him in the tree line, so they'll get Jimmy. The new Freedom Fighter is still moving in. Primal Spur is now one off. Simpson Chain getting himself out, the raises from the last but now the Chain Frost, these bounces are going to be bloody beautiful. Look at this go through the fight, they've found one, they've found two. And now it's Simpson returning, they might just get past you, they will. They'll take down the Ursa as well here. Seema's looking for the TP out, will he be able to make it? No, the glitch is oh. just in time! Seema! Jesus! Getting done in by his own glimpse there, as Yapsor with the plays coming out with the Rubik. And what a fight for MFF to take. He's continually winning them fights. Like when he hits a three man ultimate, two man ultimate, they win. Well, uh, Jimmy, he's putting his balls in it. And he's going to go for the TP. He's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. Nah. Nah. Up to the tier three. Pasha leading the way. But in case he's going to come out here. And we can see only Back a rise with buyback. This is full committal from MFF. It's going to be such a hard fight here for the rating. Pasha getting low. Oh, it's going to be fine. Shadow Grave is there. They found the tier 3 and no one is straight in with Mag as well. The Sunday Grave on Steven. They're fighting to Tusk. Now being out just trying to get themselves out of the storm. The Sunday Grave back onto no one. No one just fighting up again. Sing, 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 sing. Will get held up in the air by Mag on his Green Master. Pasha trying to front line this all. Now it's got the Aegis. It will go down once. They'll get the Aegis here. Now the Chain Force bouncing in, but it only bounces once over to no one. And with a blink out here from Mag. Pasha taking it full Rec Room to the face. They don't have another Shadow Grave, so they're going to lose the Ursa. Now the Chain from C. He's catching out Solo Mag, Rebels in forward, Solo gets blown up, and looking for Mag here as well, because the Shiva's Ronaldo trying to turn it around. Believe it or not, as he gets glimpsed, no he manages to dodge it with a slight, and they'll take down the brute. They'll find Seema as well, another successful defensive from Freedom Fighters. That's a, uh... My, my arm, that the shot's so Oh, these guys are there. both down. Oh my god, they might both die here. Oh god, in comes the bow, they're gonna look for them in this side spot. Oh, oh Basha! One second, oh, alright. Oh my god, god. how... Oh, alright. How have they not found the... Oh, the Sigil! Oh no, he's gonna be blink straight on him! Oh gosh! Jimmy has been rustled as the Sigil came out and, and he spotted it, that one, Ursa. The are for Rise as well. Simpson has now turned up, but he's gotta get himself out of there. There's a sunny wave on to Rise. Hiding in the trees was not the play there for MFF. The absolute will be, uh, will be able to TP out. Sing Sing as well gets himself back, but losing two heroes there was not the play for him. Yeah, I mean, he's had to buy back now as well. Arise realizing he is needed for this defense. If they could decide to push it, nice glimpse onto Solo. They'll look for the first pick off of this fight. He might just get it as well. He puts down the roof, has the shallow grave here, and he just he accepts his fate, walks up to the high ground, and says, Take me. I'm a certain space, man. Yeah. Full out aggression. Full I mean, out this means back. that if he does get to the SF, he should be able to kill him. Sing Sing, then he's back into the lane. He's ready for the fight here. There you go, having to play this one a little bit carefully. They're backing themselves up, the rise of CC moving forward. They're going to change them to Solo. 
Solo, no problem mech here, continues to retreat the shards, I'm going to trap the Dazzle here, he has got the Grave, and he may just need to use it, oh, okay, here comes Pasha, straight with the lockdown on TF, so he actually gets his heavens inside, now it's an overcoming of the Demon, Alright, can he get off the O here, yes he can, he gets one of Solo incredibly late, but now Alice will roll the Grave as you said from the app, so keeping Alice alive, allowing us to fight for it all the time, two kills, but they have lost two heroes themselves, more from the sideline, trying out the Dazzle into the Evenite, Sing Sing backing up into the jungle, Zoom as well, keeping it safe. So this is two for two. No one's there. Can't do anything there to stop these CPs. Well, he can if he kills them. He can just punch him. He does. He punches oh, him as a death with a dagger to the face. So a three for two. Mega coming out on top of that. The good news from Monkey Free. YOLO, man. Yeah. Just freaking hit the buildings. Okay. Last few times, Vega just go ham. They die for it. So, something going better so far. Half the damage done to half the racks. No one. Moving in and Pasha straight into the Abyssal Blade. And the Hex of the Beaver Nutter take down some of these things down for 76 seconds. No buyback here on the Ember Spur. This is the kind of fight that Vega were looking for before here on this aggression. Demon getting himself out, but Pasha just goes straight in. Telekinesis will buy some time of the screen from no one finishes him off. Double kill for the quad. There'll be a buyback from Jimmy. Now with a primal split here. Looking to keep Monkey Freedom Fighters controlled in the base as the rest of Vega turn their attention back towards the racks. The fortification will now come out. There's still this key time where there's 50 seconds without the Ember Spirit. And this almost certainly will be a full set of racks here for Vega. They're even looking for more kills. They're ready to throw Pasha straight back in. And they might just look for a second set of racks here. They find the bottom and they're making their way towards the middle. But we now have Snowball moving in, but Pasha blinks forward. Not quite able to get anything off as the stun did catch him. Yeah. Now he's moving in at the south zone. Got down in the center of it. Do you want to catch him around but now? Yeah, so on the wrong side of the fight. Take him down. 60 seconds for the rule bit. He does have buyback. Mm -hmm. 20 seconds before Sing's back. So it's going to be interesting to see how much Faker can do in this mid lane. The four hand of returns to the play. Raz is there with the raises, trying to bring down Vega. He's still in a position where the still cheese on the clock. Still Aegis as well on this Ursa. And this is going to be almost certainly a second set of racks here. Now the buyback comes back from Rubik. Sing Sing's back in the game. Can they get a cleanup? Because Telekinesis on to Pasha. He's going to be the shallow grave coming out. Now with the punch of the solo, he's actually out of matter. So they'll lose the dazzle here. Almost certainly lose Pasha here once. I think he's going to have to sack him twice. Arise. Has he got the timing? Yes, he has. Yep. Double kill for the shadow thing. But he did lose a full set of racks on the bottom. The nice thing is the downtime on Weave is pretty much nothing. It's like 16 second downtime or something like that, which for an ultimate of that magnitude is not too bad. I mean, just what are we going to do? Just like push. Pasha goes straight in with the Abyssal and the Hex onto Rise. Rise will get four stuffed away, but the Glimps back into the center of all is there. He'll get off the Requiem, but he still goes down, and he's down for 80 seconds. They just can't bite into this Monkey Freedom Fighters, and Vega, they'll take the tier 3 in this top lane. And I just don't know what the side of MFF can do to stop this. They're trying their best here, but Pasha blinks in, moves on to Demon, and Demon, he's going to get taken down. Wicked 6 string out for no one. Even though it's got a run, but he just glimpsed back across the static storm. The Sonic Wave is all through Russell's nice. Now it's a chain frost as well, but they found solo. Pash is getting low as well here, but he's gonna have the cheese. Pops himself back up, and we're in a position where the MFF are losing three heroes. They did lose four, the buyback was there from Singh. But he's been hexed up. Pash is gonna move in. The Glooms back is there, he needs a bash. Oh, there God. it is. Moving up to his name, Pasha Bashu. And that is game indeed. MFF putting up quite a fight, game one they could take, but at the end of the day, Vega, they pull through. And at the end, the armor was too much, Andy. Too much for MFF. I think the 60 armor on all yep. five of your heroes turns out to be pretty good when you're pushing the ground. So, a couple of things this game. I really feel like Vega. They did kind of struggle, but mostly it was, it was just pushing high ground, really. That